everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw Keezy. I'm going to start off by drawing a circle for his head. So I'm just going to float it on here. It's fairly light. I think you can see it. But this is just the sketch to establish on the page where we want our character to be. And then we're going to draw his body. So we're just going to come straight down like this and draw a rectangle. You can see that the rectangle that I've drawn is smaller than the uh, the circle because his body is smaller than his head. And his body's going to be really long. It's going to stop right around here. And his legs are going to be right down here. And then we'll show where his arms are going to go. So I'm going to make two little lines right here just to show where the arms will be. And they're not quite rectangles, these arms. They're more like um, they're more like they lean in a little bit towards his hands. I'm just going to darken these lines up a little bit so that you can definitely see them when you're watching back. Sometimes the camera doesn't show everything as dark as I can see it here. Okay, so these are just sketch lines. We're going to be erasing these once we get it more established. Okay, so his hand is going to go right here, and his other hand is going to go right here. So I'm just drawing some circles now just so we can have an idea where they're going to go. And then his tail it's really comes from down low and it's going to come right up toward his, uh, toward his hand over here. And we'll probably see a little bit of his spikes coming up in from behind. And then he has spikes on his head as well. So we're going to have one here, just think of it like a triangle for now, and one here. So I'm just drawing triangles to show myself where I want all of these to go. So those where his spikes will go, and then he has ears, they're kind of like triangles too, one on this side and one just peeking out on the other side. Okay, so this is the general layout for our drawing, and now we can start to draw in our final lines that we're actually going to use for Keezy. So let's start with the easy ones, the easy Keezy lines, and we're going to start right here at the corner where his arm meets his body. So I'm just going to bring this line down, and when it gets to the part where his leg is, which is just below where his body ends, it's just going to stop being straight. It's going to curve a tiny little bit there. Just a bit, not much. Then we'll make his foot. So we're going to come out like this to the side. And next, we're going to just curve around this way a tiny bit until it touches the end of his leg. And then come up. We'll do the same thing for his other leg. We're going to come down. And we'll go to the side over here and make his toe sticking out. And then curve around to touch his toe. Perfect. So now come right back up here to where his head starts. Make a line that's straight until you get to right here where his body ends. And then just a tiny, tiny little bulge because his short little legs are not as straight as his body. Great. Okay, now let's draw his arm. So we're going to uh, make our final lines here pretty much the same as those two just were. And then we'll draw his thumb. So you're going to put your pencil just a little bit below this line and make a little line to show where his wrist meets up with his hand. And then for his thumb, it's just a little bit of an angle like this, curving down and back in. So if you imagine this line keeps extending, then that's where his thumb will end. Now on the other side of his hand, he has a pinky. And so you can think of going straight across here and then just start a curve that's gonna come over to the edge of his hand like this. So his pinky is his smallest finger, and we're can, we can go back over here now and make three fingers. And they're going to come right out to about here where my, um, where my circle is helping me find the lines. So we'll just go one, two, and then small pinky, three. Great! And for his hand, we just have one more line, and it's just this line here where the thumb will bend. So I'll just come into his palm and make a curve like this right here. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the other hand since we're so good at hands now. And so arm line's going to come same as the other side, just from here. And then this arm line is going to come over like this and touch and stop. So then we'll do thumb. So again, start below, come up and angle over and turn the thumb in. And then on this side, same thing. We're going to have the hand that curves up. And then we're going to draw three fingers. So we'll have one that's bigger, two that's almost as big, and then a smallish pinky on that side. Great. Okay, so you can see that right here I didn't connect this line up. 
because we're seeing Kizi sort of on an angle, and so we can see his arm connecting to his body on this side, but not on that side. Okay, so now Kizi also has some spots, so we can draw those. So he's got one green spot here and another green spot here. We can't see the whole thing, just most of it. And then uh, we can see this whole one right here. Great. Okay, now let's draw his tail. So coming down from here, we're just going to go over and then sort of a turn up. And then we'll see here that we can just see a little bit of one of his spikes here and another little bit of a spike there. Those are his red spikes. Great. Okay, and now the fun part, we get to draw Kizzy's face. So let's start off by drawing uh, the side of his head. So this line that came up here, we're just going to imagine that it's still going. So up, straight, still going. And we're going to bring it up this way and stop so that we can draw his ear. I'm just going to make his ear a tiny bit higher on this side. For the final line on his ear, we're just going to bring it over like this. So it's sort of a triangle, but a little bit more round. So I'll just erase some of my sketch lines so you can see that better. So kind of round in a triangle. And we went in, see the, the line of his head is here, but we've come in just a tiny bit on the side. And then when we get to the top, we can make his headline. It comes right up and stops where we had sketched in our triangle for the spike at the top. All right, so now we'll draw the other side of his face. And so we're gonna actually come to the bottom of this triangle and we're gonna make a curve that goes around this way. And it's gonna keep coming around to here and then back in and stop. So this line, you can sort of see, it's like a circle, but it just has a little bit sticking out right here where, he, um, where his cheek is coming out toward the side. And then we'll see his ear just in behind like this. Great. So now we can also erase this line because we won't have anything showing in there. Okay, perfect. Looks good. So let's do his mouth next. Uh, we're going to find where his ear is. In fact, we can actually make another little triangle on the inside of his ear there. So let's hop on over, put your pencil down right here to make the edge of his cheek, just because like, he's so happy and smiling. And then when you put your pencil down, we're going to draw his smile just like this. So it comes swooping across his face, just a nice big U. And it's going to stop, if you think of his ear here, it's going to stop just down from there. Great. So now let's come over a third of the way and make the edge of his tooth like this. And now let's come back over here and draw a big swooping candy cane shape or half of a heart. It's going to touch right back in where his tooth ended. And now to show his line of his tooth, we're going to make a line that's parallel to this top one. So you can see that the top line and then this line, they are um, in the same the same shape as each other. And we can see his tongue just right down here. Perfect. All right, so now let's make his eye because this is gonna make him come to life. So a nice big circle shape in here. He just has one big happy eyeball. So do your best circle, press lightly at first because circles are not easy to draw, but you can just keep on going until you're happy with the shape of his eye. And then we'll draw his eyeball. So just right over here, more of an oval, filling up this whole side of the space, just like that. And then, I'm gonna make it a little bit wider. Great. We're gonna leave this part right here, open with no coloring because of reflection in his eye. Okay, we're almost done. So now we're gonna draw in his spikes. And so, we're just going to come a little bit sideways and then up and over and back down. So this is like a little corner that we can see here. And now we'll do the next one. We'll go up and over and around. And the next one. This one, they're getting smaller as we go. Each one is a little bit smaller than the one before. And one more, just right back here. Perfect. All right, so now just a few spots here on his head. So we'll make one green spot here 
and one green spot here this one we can see the whole thing and a tiny one right here great so these are all of the lines that you need to draw Keezy and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my marker and I'm going to go over all of my final lines so I'll do this in time lapse here we go so I'm using an ultra fine sharpie for this and I'm going to actually go over a few of my lines with my fine point sharpie as well but getting started with my ultra fine all right here I go You can see that I didn't um, color in, I didn't outline his red spikes because when you look at Keezy, you can see that those don't have dark edges. And then inside the mouth here, I'm going to color this in as well. I also didn't trace around his spots because I want them to look like they're fairly subtle and uh, they'll be just darker green. They don't need to be colored in green or outlined darker okay so I did those lines and now I'm just gonna do like an eyelid um, right around the top of his eye here the line is a little thicker so I'm just gonna thicken that up a little makes it his eye look like it's more got an eyelid and we could even make a few of his lines down here just a little darker too just to give him a little more substantial um, size here so same thing on the back of his tail this just helps your your figure stand out a little bit from the background and that might be enough just there. I can always add a few more after. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start coloring. And for his spines, I'm going to use red. And I'm just going to show you something careful here. Where these two colors are going to touch, I'm not going to color all the way to the edge of my line. I'm going to leave a little space there. Do you see it's not between the pencil line and the red? It's not colored in. So that's just a detail that I'm going to include to make him look even more like the real Keezy. Sometimes it's these little details that make uh, your character look extra realistic, cartoonistic. Okay, now this one, I'm just going to make sure here that I stay careful when I get to this edge that I follow along to leave that white space that I would left. It's okay if you don't, but I really, I really wanted to, so I tried my best. And one more here. And these ones I'm going right up to my black lines. And another one here. And then just a couple tiny ones showing back here. Great. Okay, so now I'm going to use my green and I'm going to color in Keezy. But in the same way that I just did, I'm going to leave some white showing. So right here, I'm just going to make his ear um, on the part that's touching his body. But I left a little line of white right there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to make a line that comes down. And I'm going to leave that edge right in there clear. I might color that in with light green or I might leave it white. Same thing right here on his thumb. Just leave a little bit of highlights white there. Same thing at the tips of his fingers. Just leave a little bit of white showing. And right along the bottom here of his hand. Same thing on the other side. And then everything else, I'm just going to color it in. So I'll do this in time lapse. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase all of these pencil sketch marks and also fill in his uh, darker green spots. So Keezy is such a cute little guy. He's so fun and happy all the time. I thought it would be fun for us to draw him. And it was. It was really fun to draw. All right, so I think my Keezy turned out really great today. And how did yours turn out? I hope you drew Keezy today. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching.